Alrighty, so straight up, I am just going to chemically strip this finish off this piece. I hate the brown, it's got to go, and hopefully underneath there should be some nice wood if I'm lucky. Okay, so the minute that I start stripping this, I realize that it's that really red Indonesian wood underneath. And I knew that it was going to be one of the Indonesian woods, so I just didn't know what kind. Regardless, I do not want the red. So I've got a, an idea in mind for how this is going to go down. So just stick with me and hopefully it comes to fruition. going to strip this in sections so for now I'm just cleaning off the top I'm just using some uh, soapy water and uh, a cloth to get the chemical stripper off it and then I will come back with some clean water and just rinse that off as well so you'll notice that there's still a fair amount of the finish on the top so I'm just going to take my PrepMate 2 sander and an 80 grit pad uh, sanding disc and just give it a go over with that. so time to remove the hardware this was painful because there's these tiny tiny little screws holding these um, pulls in tiniest little screwdriver couldn't even pull them out because the thread itself was kind of I don't know it wasn't stripped but it was wasn't really that deep to get the screwdriver into so this was a bit tough getting these off
more chemical stripping just to get these drawers and the uh, carcass of the unit stripped. And then I'll repeat the process of just uh, washing it down with some soapy water and then rinsing it off with some fresh water. Now I've just put the foam interface pad on my Prepmate 2 sander and I'm just going around the curved edges just to get that last bit of finish off and then I will move on to the body. Time to move the unit inside and start getting painting. While I was sanding this back, unfortunately, under that factory finish, you can't see it, but there are all these knots that have been, or knot holes that have been filled with a resin type material. So I'm taking the Carts and Millie Boutique Mineral Paint in the color Cup of Joe, which is the nice chocolatey brown. And I'm just touching those up with that just to make it look a little bit more natural and like they're intended to be there instead of it having one big lump of resin in it. As I said earlier, I don't want this piece to be red. So I'm going over it with the Cuts and Millie Washed Away Stain in the Colourcoffs Jetty. I'm just applying it with the Worcester Foam Brush and I've sanded this down quite smooth and unfortunately when you sand things down super smooth the stains don't like to absorb as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just massaging it into the timber and then I was trying to wipe it back and I actually just pulled all the stain off. So you'll see me go back in and reapply it and use a drier cloth to pull back the excess that I didn't want. But I only just sort of realized that this was quite hydrophobic. So now I'm just going back in again and applying it and then I will wipe it back with a dry cloth. I'm now going back and sanding those spots that I painted uh, over that resin type material just to make sure that it's nice and smooth with like the rest of the surface. So I'm using a 240 grit sandpaper. If you're enjoying this video guys, I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please give the video a big thumbs up. 
and also click that notification bell so you'll know each time we release a new video. And yes, I know that the corners of this are not sanded or stripped completely, and that's okay because when I strip this middle section down on these um, end panels, I realized that it was like a ply type wood and I really didn't like the look of it. So um, I'm going to paint this a different color. So don't worry about those little spots that aren't actually stripped. They will be covered up very shortly. Here I'm just touching up some more of that resin type material that's been put into some cracks that were obviously in this piece of wood. So I'm just again using the Katsumili Boutique Mineral Paint in Cup of Joe and just going over those again to make it look a little bit more natural once it's stained.
Now I'm just taping off a nice crisp line. That was so hard to say. A nice crisp line from where I'm going to paint on the inside of this cabinet. I'm just doing a really thin coat of the Katsumili Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond. Just one coat. It's just to give it a little bit of extra adhesion or, sorry, to give my paint a little bit of extra adhesion. So I'm just applying the one coat on this all over the parts where I'm painting. And the reason for the adhesion primer is because that surface is quite slick. So I didn't want to go through the process of sanding all that down. I'm just putting the primer on so that my paints will stick to a slick surface. chosen to use one of the most favorite Karts and Millie Boutique Mineral Paint colors, Sage Advice. This color is super popular. Um, probably sell this and Black Bear more than any other colors in our range.
now for that really satisfying moment of removing the tape and look at that line. I love it, love it, love it, love it. The original hardware that was on this piece for the drawers it had all those little screws. I think there were, there were actually four screws in each piece of the hardware. And to cover up the holes that they left behind, they were quite small holes, but still to cover them all up was going to be a little bit tricky with the hardware or finding some hardware that actually fit. So I'm making my own. And what I'm going to be using is these Jenga blocks and I'm just gluing those end to end to give them the length that I need. And then I'm going to come in with some old bits of some Venetian blinds, some old timber Venetian blinds, and um, use that to create the pool. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. It's a little bit tricky to explain, but just watch and you'll see what I'm doing. This is either the bottom of or the top of the Venetian blind, I can't remember, but it's a thicker piece than the actual slats themselves. So I'm taking that and I'm just measuring it to the length of the Jenga blocks that I've glued end to end. And I'm just going to cut that to size on both of those to create the actual top of the pool. You'll see what it looks like when it's finished. It's really a little bit tricky to explain how I'm doing it, but um, just keep watching and it will all explain itself soon. So now I'm just going to glue the blind to the Jenga block, if that makes sense. And it's going to create a little lip for the actual pool itself. I decided to paint these pools the same colour as the inside of the TV unit and the little panel bits on the side. So I'm using Sage Advice again um, just for these pools, which I think will add a really nice contrast to the front itself. All the paints and products that you see in this video can be purchased from our website at cartsandmillie.com or from a local stockist in your area. Just check our website, they should all be listed there. If you're looking for anything in particular, please just send me an email, tanya at cartsandmillie.com. So again guys, I really appreciate you watching the video, it helps me out immensely. Uh, so please tell your friends, family, if they're interested in watching these kinds of videos, that um, we would be really happy to have them as subscribers. It costs nothing. It's completely free. I just really enjoy doing the content for you all. And be sure to stick around to see the final results. So again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. Put up a fight And now I'm lost in sleep What if I lost touch What if I'll never get it right I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just, just listen to me as I say Listen to me as I